Are you considering taking a degree in mechanical engineering? Well, if so, you're in the right place because I'm going to sort of answer the question of what to expect from a mechanical engineering degree. Welcome back everyone, my name is James Nightingale and as I said I'm a mechanical engineer uh, currently in my fifth year at the University of Nottingham. I'm just going to break down for you some very sort of basic things about what to expect from a mechanical engineering degree. So I don't want to waffle very much, I'm just going to start by breaking down exactly what modules I did in each of my years and then sort of give you a very brief overview of that year. And then later on I'll answer the question of what was the biggest challenge or difficult thing about it and maybe what was the best bit about the degree as well. And then I'll, I'll finally finish off by talking a little bit about placements as well. So in first year, I had six modules and they were all, I think, compulsory. I didn't get to select any of them. So my modules in first year consisted of engineering design and design project. And this was basically just a group project where we were told a brief of something that we had to design and build. And it was a year long project where we went from that sort of concept phase all the way to try and to manufacture it in the workshops. Next was materials and manufacturing, which was one of my probably least favorite modules as it was to do with materials engineering, which some people love, I'm less interested in that. Next was mathematics for engineers. And now if you did further maths at A level, often you'd find that you know pretty much everything in that module. For me, I didn't do further maths, so it was all fairly new, but it wasn't overly complicated. However, it was my worst module at all. The next module was programming professional and laboratory skills which is kind of what it sounds like in that you did a bit of everything, programming skills, you learned how to sort of write an essay as well, which was a bit odd. And obviously we had a few labs as well where we learned about sort of good technique and professional skills. Another module was called statics and dynamics. And statics and dynamics was sort of your classic sort of very typical mechanical engineering, looking at forces, free body diagrams, things like that. If you did mechanics at uh, A-level maths, then it's similar, but obviously more advanced than that as well. And finally was the pinnacle of mechanical engineering in my mind, which is thermodynamics and fluid mechanics, which was probably my strongest uh, module in most of my years. And that's just to sort of looking at sort of how fluids work and there's the dynamics and then also thermodynamics. It's a lot to do with engines and, you know, heat and transfer and work and all these different things, uh, which is your, your classic engineering or mechanical engineering stuff. So second year, I'll just lift off, list off the modules again and give you a brief overview of what they involved. So the first was called materials in design, which again, it was just sort of another compulsory module where we looked at materials in multiple different areas such as alloys, composites, uh, plastics and polymers and again not a very enjoyable module for me. So the next module was another compulsory one called advanced mathematics and statistics for engineers which interestingly as I said in first year I did the maths uh, module and I found that the hardest. This one I actually did quite well in um, so clearly like there was some progression there somehow and it wasn't as bad as uh, the first maths module for some reason. So design manufacturing project again was just your classic group project where you were sort of given a group you didn't get to choose it at this stage and we also were given sort of a generic brief and we went throughout the entire year again um, going from concept to building it. Sadly Covid hit in my second year so I didn't get to finish off the project with my group but yeah that was another group project. Next was dynamics and control which similar to uh, statics and dynamics. This added a bit more of a control element, which I kind of hated. Um, but for some people, they absolutely love it because it's to do with sort of how systems are controlled and you know feedback loops and things like that. Uh, I think it, it links a little bit with programming and you also have these box diagrams of how like a, a system works and how it's controlled. Uh, I found that quite difficult for some reason, but I think that's because the lecture wasn't very good. Next was thermodynamics and fluid mechanics two. So that's just the progression of the first year module. Again, probably my strongest module, uh, classic engineering, really enjoyed it. The next module was mechanics of solids, which was basically just statics and dynamics two. So again, it's just a progression of a first year module. And the last two modules in second year were known as engineering management and electromechanical devices, which are both a little bit more interesting and a little bit more niche, shall we say. Engineering management was learning sort of about the history of management within engineering, because often engineers, when they get good enough, they will become managers. So that was quite an interesting module and not too difficult either. And then of course, the other one was electromechanical devices, which was quite helpful for us as mechanical engineers to just know about electron electronics and electrical systems just so that when we're in industry we can sort of work with electrical engineers a bit more easily because we have an appreciation of what they do. So just to summarise that second year, all of those again were compulsory. So first and second year both were completely compulsory modules. Third year was the first year where you could choose what you wanted to do. However, there are always going to be some compulsory modules such as 
thermodynamics and fluid mechanics three. So again, this is just the next step up again in thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. You also had the option to do, I think, solid mechanics two, but I chose not to do that because my strength sort of lied within thermodynamics. You also did engineering management two. So again, a progression of a second year module. And again, in third year, a classic is a group design and make project. Now, this is more interesting in third year because it's actually a 40 credit module, which is I think one third of your year. In first and second year, they're both 20 credit modules. So they're just sort of one sixth of your year. So in third year, it starts to have a lot more weight and a little bit more uh, independence, I think, with, with the project. And the other thing to note about the third year group design make is that we actually got to pick a supervisor who was interested in a certain project and then do their project. So it was a lot more freedom of choice. One of the harder modules in the whole year was computer modeling techniques, where you effectively learned how to do FEA, finite element analysis, uh, and also CFD, which is computational fluid dynamics and you also did a lot of MATLAB stuff so effectively a lot of coursework in this one um, but that was it was quite challenging and I know that some of the people doing it now find it quite difficult but it's really useful. Now I got to choose two modules in my third year the first of which was computer-aided engineering which basically was just advanced SOLIDWORKS so SOLIDWORKS was the CAD package that we used and computer-aided engineering basically we got to use SOLIDWORKS as more of a design tool and use it to do finite element analysis and effectively optimize certain designs. So we did things like topology optimization. That was really interesting. We had three coursework for that and that was 100% coursework. Um, and I quite like to choose the modules that were more coursework based because less exams the better for me. Another really interesting module was introduction to aerospace technologies. Now in your third and sort of fourth year, you'll be able to do a lot more of these intro modules, which are quite a lot easier and quite interesting because they're generally quite surface level, but also they go into sort of lots of different quite interesting areas like types of engines and all these things. Um, so I think that was one of my more interesting modules. In my fourth year, I went on a placement year and I'll get into that later. But effectively, I'm in my fourth academic year, even though it's my fifth year of being at university. And in this year, this has been quite an interesting year from a module perspective because I've had the most flexibility with choosing modules. So I'll just run you quickly through the fourth year list before I get onto some of the highlights. I did Introduction to Automotive Technologies, which is similar to Introduction to Aerospace, but just obviously with the cars. Again, quite an interesting module, quite basic, um, but you learn quite a lot of information. One of the compulsory modules in fourth year was called Advanced Technology Review, which was basically just three courseworks, two essays, and one group poster. And all it really wanted you to do was research advanced technologies and learn how to reference. Those were kind of the two main things. And what we found a lot in my friends in fourth year is that university kind of want to teach you almost to become an academic. And really that's what they're, they're aiming you to do is learn how to reference really well, how to write good papers, um, because that's something that they're quite keen in getting you into. One of the harder modules from this year has been called Integrated Systems Analysis, which has been a lot of sort of designing um, control systems again uh, using MATLAB and things like this so th that's been really quite difficult there's been a lot of tricky maths involved we had a, quite a hard exam in January so but that's a compulsory module which was not very fun and one of my more interesting modules last term was called advanced propulsion systems which was basically just engines but also with a little bit of uh, hydrogen power in there a little bit of electric uh, propulsion as well and that was a really interesting module but it was a hundred percent exam so mm, that was a bit of a challenge. And then a key thing to note for this year that I'm currently doing is that you've got obviously a dissertation or a master's project, which is one third of this year. And I'm currently in the middle of that at the moment, doing a very niche topic, which is uh, picking and placing cooked lasagna sheets using soft robotics. And if you wanna find out a bit about that, then I think I talked about it in my day in the life video, so you can watch that if you want. Now, the three modules that I'm currently doing this term, which I chose all of them. The first of which is called Work Systems and Safety, which sounds really boring in the title, but it's quite interesting because it's sort of to do with why do we do work? What motivates us? How do we design jobs well so that people are, you know, motivated to do their work? And these are things that I'm really interested in and actually kind of relates to a lot of the stuff that I talk about on this YouTube channel. Um, and funny enough, I was able to do one of my courseworks uh, based around a YouTube channel and how that system works. So that's been really cool. Another module that I'm doing this year that I chose is called Biomechanics, which again is a bit different. Um, and it's really interesting because it basically obviously links in biology and how sort of humans work, how bones work, how muscles work, soft tissue. So for example, we're learning a lot about how injuries happen. So how do bones break? How do soft tissues get injured? And then we can use that information to effectively design better seat belts, airbags, things like that. Uh, and it, this has been a really interesting module and quite different as well. 
plus the lecturer is proper wacky and he's very funny. And finally, one of the more interesting modules, again, is called Entrepreneurship for Engineers, which is basically what it sounds like. It's where we work as a group for the entire term, fully coursework based, there are three courseworks. One we've just submitted is a poster based around a product that we will find on uh, Kickstarter and we'll effectively pretend like we're the owners of that product and then we'll build a business plan around it and we present a business plan later on and then we finish off with a Dragon's Den pitch. So it's quite an interactive, interesting module. Again, very different from the first year modules where you're just sort of looking at maths, maths, maths. So yeah, that's a summary of all the modules. Quick note obviously is that there are loads more modules that you could do in multiple different areas like hydrogen power, sustainability, uh, finite element analysis, you know, all these different things that I've not talked about at the moment. There are loads more modules you could choose. So I hope that's given you a good flavour of what the structure of a mechanical engineering degree looks like. But now I want to just quickly highlight some of the biggest challenges that there have been, so what you can expect that will be difficult, and some of the biggest highlights, so what you can expect that will be really good. Before we go into the next area though, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed and maybe even liked, as it really helps the YouTube algorithm for more people to find my channel and to hopefully learn more about this area of work and rest. So what has been the biggest challenge of this degree? Quick note obviously is that if you ask any other person, they will have a different biggest challenge. For me, it was second year, because second year was a time when I was taking on more responsibility within societies that I, that I was in, plus the workload got a lot harder. And by the second term, our group project was going really full on and we were originally supposed to be manufacturing this project and doing all these things. We also had loads of coursework, loads of pressure. However, for me, in second year, that's when COVID hit. Now, I hated COVID as much as anyone else, However, it did kind of save save me a little bit because it basically meant all of my exams became you know two week long open book exams. And so I probably did better than I might have done if it hadn't been COVID. So what was the best bit about my mechanical engineering degree? Well, there are three things that I want to talk about. First of which is my master's project, which is an individual project. And I believe if you're on the bachelor's, you still do an individual project. But basically the reason why it's so cool is that you can fully choose what you want to do. And for me, I've kind of linked my project with my year in industry, which I'll talk about later. But effectively, I could fully choose what I wanted to do and something that I was interested in. And it's a proper wacky, weird subject. You know, I'm picking and placing cooked lasagna sheets using soft robotics. Um, but it's proper interesting as well. And it's probably been one of the highlights this term is that I've just been able to really get stuck in and really enjoy it. I've visited the 3D printing lab pretty much every single day, trying to get um, sort of new prototypes uh, printed out. It's just been so interesting. The other highlight's probably just been the modules that I've been able to choose. Some of these uh, optional modules are actually really interesting, particularly this term. I mentioned earlier work systems and safety. Sounds really boring, but I've been able to do coursework on things that I really am interested in, and I've really enjoyed that. Also, biomechanics is completely different to the stuff I've done in the past couple of years. You know, I've been learning about how bones fracture, which I've never really done before in my degree, but I found it so interesting. So, you know, you've got the ability to choose things that you are really interested in when you get to uni. But by far the biggest sort of plus or benefit of my mechanical engineering degree has nothing really to do with mechanical engineering, to be honest. And it was my placement year that I went on in my fourth year, so last year and I was working as a project engineering manager. So again, nothing really to do with mechanical engineering, but what the university allowed me to do was obviously build up this experience and then go into a placement year that massively benefited me. And I've said this before, but I felt like I probably learned more on my placement year than I did over the entire of my mechanical engineering degree. And the areas that I learned in were more to do with professional skills and what the working world is really like. And those are the things that industry are really keen on you knowing. I will say though that obviously university is really invaluable because it teaches you those technical skills that you do need to be able to get these jobs in the first place. But yes, as I say, the placement was probably the highlight of this degree so far. Um, and I've made quite a few videos about my placement. So if you want to go back and look at those, then uh, please feel free. If you are considering doing a placement and you don't maybe know what role you want to do, then I've actually interviewed, I think about four or five different people uh, and asked them basically what their placements involved, um, ranging from like food scientists all the way to sort of my role, uh, mechanical engineers, all these different things. So if you want to check that out, and I think I've got that in a playlist called Careers, so you can, you can check that out and hopefully that'll be really helpful for you. So I apologize if this has been a little bit of a ramble, but this was my script, it was just a little mind map. 
um, but I hope I hope it's been helpful just to break down what a mechanical engineering degree will actually look like for you if you're looking into what degree you wish to do at university. Would I would highly recommend mechanical engineering as it is very flexible and you can go to so many different career paths through it. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next video.